good morning children hope you all are doing good so today we are going to start the next part of the lesson safety and travel yesterday we did about be careful here it is be careful and be safe okay so today we are going to learn about be obedient don't be naughty and be safe okay see children you are you are seeing lot of dresses here lot of things going on here in these four pictures you need to wear special clothes while playing sports see even in our school also when you have running race you come in different although you come to school in your uniform but sometimes you see your seniors coming in different dresses while going for running race or swimming or cycling and in our indian cricket team see here there is the indian batsman with different costume here he has different here these are called the leg pads and these are the hand gloves the helmet to safeguard himself from the ball and bat see these are the safety uniforms or safety clothes that one should wear during playing sports okay what happens if all this is not there there are chances that you may get hurt and you may you may get bled also so always try to be safe by wearing all this because sometimes you are even learning the sport at the initial stage so all by keeping yourself safe like this you will be able to protect yourself okay children in this picture see here is mohit dressed for swimming give reasons for your answer is mohit ready to is he in the correct dress to get go for swimming no see there is a swimming tank here and mohit is not that properly dressed there is no the, there is no tube to protect himself if he doesn't know there is no proper uh, gloves or the cap or whatever necessary for swimming you see you know what all is necessary that all he should like these here he should also come in his proper costume with the goggles with the cap with proper dressing yeah if all that is there then there are no chances for mohit to get drowned in the water he will be safe and if he jumps like this only there are chances that he may get drowned in the water and he even may die okay so always try to be in the correct dresses not that the, not now that you are growing up you should be able to take care of yourself at times as i told you yesterday here in this picture while explaining this picture i told you you should be able to take care of yourself by remembering your parents name your home address your parents telephone number because now we are growing up children you should be able to take care of things by understanding what is going on you should be very careful about yourself okay you are not unlike the small children in our school like lkg and upper kids they need support but you are not like that you are already grown up you are growing up children now you should understand certain things by yourself and you should do it because remember children it is your body nobody can do anything to your body you are not that small children now you should understand what is good and what is bad to your body okay you have the right to protect yourself when someone you don't know tries to talk to you or tries to touch you or even come closer to you and you are not comfortable or happy about it yes and no children see you should always be aware about your good and bad things that happen to your body always i yesterday also i told you today also i'm telling you and i'll always keep repeating these things see children you should know what is good and bad to your body you should know what is a good touch and a bad touch to your body never go and talk or never encourage any unknown person to come and talk to you touch you or even uh, you know give you chocolates and tell you come i'll take you to your parents no these things are not allowed to your to your safety children you should not go with any unknown person or eat anything given by an unknown person because you can't say the thing that person has given to you is good to eat or no he may even put something in that and you you get you you sleep down you get unconscious and you may fall and he may take you away and go and he may do something bad to you so always be aware about the good touch and the bad touch not only of an unknown person children it might be a person whom you know and he, see for example i'll tell you if you don't like somebody coming and touching your back okay 
or hitting you or putting hand on your sh- shoulder or touching your tummy see these things are things you really don't like and repeatedly if a known person or an unknown person do touching your back pulling your hand pulling your hair ah okay and uh, touching the parts which you really don't feel comfortable you should not allow immediately you can be rude to that person you can shout at that person no matter who he is always don't allow any unknown person or known person to touch your body without your permission and that to the parts which you really don't like to be touched by anybody okay i i don't mean by your parents but yes you should understand what is good and bad to your body please tell your parents or the elder brothers or sisters about it immediately or the first thing what you should do is shout for help okay if you feel something is going to really happen bad to you immediately you should shout for help and please tell your parents or your brothers and sisters immediately sometimes you may not you may even know the person as i said you known person or unknown person if you feel they are not doing good to you immediately you can shout for help and tell the person with whom you are comfortable example your brother sister mother father your family member you can tell them about that see this person or this uh, boy or girl is really touching me which i really don't like they are troubling me see these are the good things and the bad things you should understand about yourself because it is your body okay children now come to the next page here page number 175 now that you know enough about taking care of yourself you must also make sure that others do not get hurt because of your actions see children like in this page we discussed about our self our body in the same way others also have body others also have life others also have feelings okay you should never hurt anybody physically mentally and disturb them by your actions okay you all are good children you should do good to others because we all are created by a good god god never does, does god hurt us no in the same way we should also not hurt anybody because we are children of good god okay however sometimes accidents do happen yeah in spite of all this sometimes by mistake you may hurt somebody by not by knowingly but unknowingly by see you're going out of the class class looking talking to your friend behind and suddenly somebody comes your some brother comes in front of you smaller brother and you push him and he falls down that is not an intentional action that is called as the accident okay this happens so what we must do we must learn to do simple things to help the person immediately you made that person fall down or your brother or sister fell down by your unknown action and accident has happened and he is hurt then what are the things you should learn to do immediately to that person if you have if you or your friend hurt yourselves remember do not run away okay do not leave that person like that ha huh, you have fallen go now i don't know anything never say that do not run away from that person do not get scared of what to do or you i pushed this person now i'm going to get punishment from any you know, teachers or your father or mother no nobody don't think don't be scared and leave that person and run away it and try to take calm try to keep yourself calm and think be cool no don't, don't don't get tense now i have fallen down or i have made this person fallen down no don't worry about all this first thing what you should do is always keep calm be quiet and think what should be done okay and then first call out for an adult adult may be your mother your parent your your father your teachers your grandparents whoever elder to you you can call them this is not only for uh, what is that any person you have hurt accidentally you may also fall down you may see you have put your hand near the door and somebody pushes the door from that side unknowingly and your finger gets you know cut or you have, you start bleeding there that amount you, sh- you should not run away showing your hand everywhere don't run don't panic yourself keep calm and think do not get scared and first tell this accident to your teachers in case if you are in school and elders of like your parents and grandparents at 
home if you are at home understood if you cut yourself while sharpening the pencil or while cutting something if you cut yourself what you should do put the cut part for example if you have cut your finger here what you should do put that finger under the flowing water here put it under the flowing water and then wrap a clean cloth the cloth should not be dirty see that it is cloth because there are chances of getting infection if you put a dirty kerchief or dirty cloth on the cut area so always wrapping is nothing but putting it ro rotating the cloth or the kerchief on a or bandage around the wounded area to stop the blood see if 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 i cut my finger here i am going to rotate my hand with a clean cloth so that i it puts a pressure and the blood doesn't come out more okay children and think if uh, see your usually this burn happens with your mom when she's cooking you have my you might have observed she tells i i have burnt my hand many times she tells no while cooking food and all i have burnt my hand and all that is what you should do tell your mom and in case you should also learn to do this pour cold water on the small burn area uh, over it and apply a cream small burns here and all your mom cuts no while doing she cuts here and here all we get the hurt and all that time what you should do put your hand your uh, under the pour cold water on your hand and then apply a cream here see children pour cold water or even ice is okay for that matter you can just pour ice or even running water is okay and then you can apply a cream on it if you fall down and get hurt and have pain in moving see here if you fall down and sometimes what happens children what you should do do not move because do not move and send for a doctor many a times you see children suddenly they fall and they can't even move one single step and sometimes there is swelling in that area it is because there is a fracture in their hand or in the leg or in the area where they have get that time what you should do you should immediately call a doctor and do not move because the fracture may increase fractures are nothing but crack on the bones inside so that may keep on increase if you move so better do not move and call a doctor and tell your problem okay children so these are the important things you should take care about yourself okay now see your exercise say true or false keep your front door locked do not open it to the strangers is it true or false it is true because i said you never encourage any unknown person strangers are nothing but unknown person you should not open your do door for them because they may come and rob you rob the things from your house they may harm you so better do not open the door for strangers they may tell i know your parent i know your mother do not open give a call to your parent and ask whether have you sent this person to your house or no if no then better do not open the door and if possible tell your parents that somebody is on the door and also to inform the police understood children we can tease animals they won't harm us is it good see here in this picture is it good to trouble an innocent animal we should not do that they won't harm us no they will in fact if this dog if you repeatedly keep throwing stone on it what is going it is going to do it will come back and bite you in such a way that you'll go you're going to have 14 to 18 injection on your stomach so better do not trouble the animals okay they to have life like us do not touch the stitches with wet hand you can get switches with an because you can get an electric shock true or false yes 100% true you should never touch electric boards or switches with wet hand because single drop of water inside the stitch may cause you an electric shock wherein there are chances of you to get severely injured and even you may die i am not repeatedly telling you this things because children this has happened many a times to many children so there are chances for you to get badly hurt please be careful about the switches and electricity there is no need to wear seat belt while riding in a car is it true you should always wear a seat belt because this belt here it always protects us from accidents and sometimes even big breakers when they come if you are not in your belt you may directly go and hit the front part of your car and you may get hurt your head so better wear your 
car seat belts okay it is all right to drive a car when you are 10 years old is it no until and unless you become 18 years old 18 years and above you are not permitted to drive a car neither any vehicle for that means you can learn a bicycle but not on the roads near your house you can play but you should never come on roads until you are 18 years of age okay hope this all is understood by your children and please study well we will be discussing about all this in our online classes also and i want you all to be correct on time to the classes okay please take care of yourself study well and prepare well for your exams okay bye thank you